Good evening, the state television company Westerner Minya represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, May 9, 2021, 5th anniversary of the National Constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia. Interview with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Margosyan. The stadium shell during the war was reopened in Mardoni, Artsakh. The temperature to decrease in Western Armenia. Turkey held to account in US Congress for violations of religious freedom. Azerbaijan grants citizenship to jihadist mercenaries from Syria. Bahan Arsuni to present concert entitled Komitas 10 Revelations at Komitas Museum Institute. The 101st anniversary of the era recognizing the Republic of Western Armenia Conference on May 11. May 9 is a significant day to Armenians as Russia's win over the Nazis Germany in 1945, Shoshis liberation in 1992, and adoption of the National Constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia in 2016 are celebrated on that day. In the May 9 framework, the delegation of Western Armenia visited Mother Armenia Monument and paid a tribute to victory fighters. The delegation also visited Mother Armenia Military Museum so that the President Armenak Abrahamian could present the history of 500 martyr squads of the First Artsakh War. Afterwards, President Armenak Abrahamian returned to Yerevan office of Western Armenia in order to welcome volunteer fighters of Western Armenia in the presence of military authorities of Western Armenia, Defense Minister Hamik Sayadian, Deputy Defense Minister Suren Shahumian, and Colonel Lieutenant Harutun Hakopian. President Abrahamian paid a tribute on the occasion of the 5th anniversary of the National Constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia and called on teams to work on all possible measures in order to strengthen the protection and integrity of borders of Armenia, composed of Eastern and Western Armenia, including Artsakh. The participants restored their oath of defending the homeland. The volunteer fighters of Western Armenia will be deployed agreed with the military authorities of the Republic of Armenia. President Armenak Abrahamian officially calls on Armenians of the world to support volunteer fighters of Western Armenia. Let's support the volunteers of Western Armenia. On Western Armenia TV, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Margosyan, presented the real motives of the genocide against Armenians, referred to national self-organization and the restoration of state interests. She spoke about the processes carried out at the diplomatic level and future plans. Avakan Arena Stadium, shelled by the Azerbaijani Armed Forces during the 44-day war, was officially reopened in Martuni on May 9. As Armen Press reports, the friendly match of football veterans, teams of Martuni and Chartar, took place after the opening, dedicated to the memory of marches of the April 44-day war, to victories of Armenian people and to the heroes who created them. As the head of Martuni District Administration, Edik Avanesian, reported, the co-founders of Dream Foundation supported the stadium's recovery. Let us remind that the football match between Western Armenia and South Ossetia took place on June 2, 2019, in the framework of CONIFA Euro 2019 Artsakh. The football team of Western Armenia became the vice champion of Europe at the tournament. According to the current meteorology data, on Monday and Tuesday, the temperature in Karin, Yerzenka, Agar, Gars and Ardahan provinces of Western Armenia will gradually decrease below zero. Citizens, especially agriculture producers, must be carefully prepared for the risk of agriculture frosts. Heavy precipitation is expected in the central Black Sea region and on the eastern shores of Black Sea. Legislation to hold Turkey accountable for violating the religious freedoms of the ecumenical patriarchate, Greek Orthodox Christians and other religious minorities was introduced in the U.S. Congress on Friday, Ahva reports. Congresswoman Carolyn B. Maloney, co-founder and co-chair of Congressional Caucus on Hellenic Issues, and Congressman Gus Bilirakis, co-chair of the Congressional Caucus on Hellenic Issues, introduced the Bipartisan Turkey and Ecumenical Patriarchate Religious Freedom Act of 2021. The United States must remain consistent in enforcing the expectation of shared democratic values from our so-called allies including the demonstration of a consistent respect for religious freedom, said Congressman Billy Rakis. The Syrian independent NGO for Truth and Justice in Syria, which proves human rights abuses in Syria, has released information from reliable sources confirming the deaths of 293 Syrian mercenaries out of 2,560 Syrians. 
both fighters and civilians. The source confirmed that the Caucasus and jihadists sent by Turkey to Azerbaijan have not yet returned to Syria. According to the organization's sources, each fighter in Azerbaijan was paid 10,000 liras for three months of service, including a prepayment of 1,500 Turkish liras. The wounded fighters were not compensated. However, the families of the killed servicemen were paid 25,000 Turkish liras in compensation. In addition, according to CTJ, about 150 mercenaries are from the Caucasus. Regarding the return of these fighters, STJ interviewed the SNA officer who said, There are Caucasian jihadists of Turkmen origin in Azerbaijan. They were, of course, granted Azerbaijani citizenship. As for the Syrian Arabs, they have all returned to Syria. Composer and singer Vahan Arturni will present a concert entitled Gomitas 10 Revelations. As reported by Armour Press, the concert will take place on May 11 in the temporary exhibition hall of Gomitas Museum Institute. Gomitas 10 Revelations was written according to Gomitas's verses. Bahan Arturni is the author of the music. Gomitas hardly invented music, rather compiling world songs and spiritual Armenian songs, instrumenting and polyphonizing them. He saw his mission and aim to develop the unique Armenian musical heritage to travel to present it to the world. Composer Vahan Arturni referred to Komitas' verse, presenting the song series written on the basis of Komitas' verses. Dear compatriots and followers, let us remind that 101st anniversary of the Euro Recognizing the Republic of Western Armenia conference will take place at Yerevan Office of Western Armenia on May 11, 2021. Address Agatangeros 2 2, Yerevan. In the program, conference started at 11 a.m., ended at 2 p.m. Opening speech. The speech by the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian. Question and answer session. Afterwards, a discussion with the coffee. The entrance is free. Now we present you Sasno Tara by Sasun Assembled. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.